The mathematical symbol for natural number is the letter N. We can even use a little extra line here. So X belongs, this little C means belongs, to the set of number, curly brace. And when we're talking about natural numbers, we're talking about counting finger numbers such as 1, 2, 3, etc. Now whole numbers, W, include numbers such as 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. Whereas integers, the letter Z for Zalin, also include negative numbers, such as negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, as well as positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, etc. We can go towards the positive infinity direction as well as the dot 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 negative infinity direction as well. Now what about rational number? The symbol for rational number is Q for quotient. And there's many types of rational numbers. As long as we can get the number into the form P over Q, where P and Q are integers. This here is the definition of rational number. So for example, we have 2 thirds is a rational number because we have the numerator as an integer and the denominator also as an integer. The square root of 9 is also a rational number because the square root of 9 is 3, or 3 over 1, which meets the definition. 0 is also a rational number because 0 divided by 1, we have integer divided by integer, which is the same thing as 0. 1.2 is also rational because any number is itself divided by 1, and we can multiply top and bottom by 10 to get 12 over 10, which is integer over integer. Now real numbers include all these previous numbers, but also include numbers involving radicals, such as the square root of 2. Now if you use your calculator, this has an infinite number of decimal points. We cannot express it as integer over integer. Pi is another example of a real number that's irrational. So there's many other examples. Negative 3 is also a real number, so is 2 thirds, etc. Now we're not responsible for studying complex numbers, which is a Now we're not responsible for studying complex numbers, the letter C. However, just for enrichment, a complex number has a real portion as well as some imaginary portion. A and B are real numbers, but I is the imaginary number. And the definition of I is the square root of negative 1. If you plan on writing the SAT exam applying to the USA, it's nice to study a little bit about complex numbers. Just for fun, if you square both sides, we have I squared, and the square root sign disappears, equals negative 1. Are the following numbers rational or irrational? This number, the square root of 5, is irrational. When we have the square root of a number, it's considered irrational unless we have a number like this, which is actually secretly a 4. The square root of 16 is 4, or 4 over 1, which is by definition a rational number, integer over integer. The square root of 25 over 9, this is the same thing as the square root of 25, over the square root of 9, which is 5 over 3. This is rational. Pi is irrational. There's no end. 3.141592655, etc. Zero is rational because zero can be written as zero over one. Any repeating decimal is rational. 0 0.6 repeater is two thirds. 
So 1 and 2 thirds, or 1 plus 2 thirds, is 5 over 3. Another rational number we have here is 0 0.02, or 0 0.02 over 1. Multiplying top and bottom by 100, we move the decimal place to the right. So we have 2 over 100, which is integer over integer. 2.5 is also rational. We have 2.5 over 1. Multiplying top and bottom by 10, we have 25 over 10. Now, what times what is 1 to 1? 11 times 11 is 121. Let's get to memorize your timetables. So 1.1 times 1.1 is 1.21. That's the inside of this radical symbol, the radicand. So the answer is 1.1. 1.1 divided by 1, multiplying top and bottom by 10, we have 11 over 10, which is rational. Finally, e is a constant, much like pi, is irrational.